Watch how quick and easy it is to fix this white background and make my subject pop just by using the divide blend mode. You can see here the studio lights didn't quite get rid of the details in the background, which is a pretty common problem. So I'm just going to sample one of these grayer areas and make that my foreground color. Then I'll come down here and create a solid color adjustment layer. Click OK. And now I'm going to change the blend mode to divide. Take a look at the before and after. That did a pretty good job, but I think there might still be a few very subtle areas that need to go away. So I'll double click on the layer and making sure that only B for brightness is selected, I'm going to move the sliders down. Now you can take this too far, so just start at the top and move the sliders down until things look good in your image. Notice how that brightened up my image just a touch and got rid of the final little details in the background. That's a huge improvement. And it just took a few seconds with the divide blend mode. Now I just want to show you one more trick you can use this blend mode for. Let's say your background is fine, but you just want to make your subject pop. We can use the divide blend mode for that too. This time I'll create a solid color adjustment layer with white as my foreground color. Again, click OK and change the blend mode to divide. This time, when I click the eyeball for a before and after, there is no change. And the reason is because of the mathematical formula the divide blend mode uses. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but if you're interested in taking a deeper dive into exactly how the divide blend mode works and the formula it uses, I did make a video on that as well, and I'll link it for you in the description. But if you're like, nope, I don't care how it works, I just want it to work, then let's continue. Double click on the layer, just like we did before, and again, with only the brightness selected, I'll pull the slider down, paying attention to only the colors of my subject. I don't care what it's doing to the background at this point. The slider not only affects the brightness, but also the saturation and contrast, which makes it a perfect technique for a super quick way to make the subject pop. So I'm going to leave it right there and click OK. Now I'll invert the mask and just paint this onto my subject wherever I want it. So I can make just her clothing pop, or maybe I want to paint it a little bit on her skin. For this, I'll turn down the opacity and just select certain areas of my subject that I'd like to pop a little bit more. I'll get her shoes. Okay, a nice before and after. Now you may have noticed that I didn't even have to be too careful with my painting because the white background wasn't going to be affected anyway because of the divide formula that, it, that Photoshop uses. Essentially, Photoshop is dividing the color white by zero and we know from math class that anything divided by zero is zero or no change. Go watch that other video. It's actually pretty interesting. I explain it with ice cream and who doesn't love ice cream?